Hello, I'm Bob Allison, WB1GCM, ARRL test engineer here at the ARRL laboratory. Let's take a look at Elecraft's KX3. And here it is, the Elecraft KX3 transceiver. Fairly substantial, um, has a nice weight to it. Doesn't dance around the table when you turn the knobs. A little over seven inches long, uh, just a few inches high here. And the knobs have a very sturdy feel to it. They don't wobble around the shafts like some other transceivers. Um, easy layout, but where's the power button? <laughs> well, you turn it on right here with these two buttons. That's kind of a little safety feature. If you're out backpacking and you bump a one button power button, you can drain your battery. So Elecraft uses two buttons to turn it on. And let's take a walk around. Here's the menu right over here. Press that down and adjust the menu. It's very, very intuitive to use. The connections over here. We have uh, whoop, the uh, external DC power supply input right here, 9 to 15 volts. Accessory one jack, that's for computer control. A USB or a serial connection can be made at the other end. Your key or paddle. Headphones over here. Your microphone jack, it's the MH3 microphone that comes with it. And uh, here's the up-down button. And the jack looks like that, that plugs in right into here. Your accessory two is your key line output uh, and a three volt logic circuit. And this is uh, INQ for uh, software defined uh, spectral displays, for instance. Okay, and look at that. This is the KXP D3 Cure Paddle. Has uh, plugs in the front, screws in here. This is an option and uh, hook up the antenna and let's give it a whirl. I'm uh, operating fleet power here. Nope, no, no one on the frequency. Very nice. Here's the back of the KX3. It has these feet that prop up. So it tilts the radio at an angle so it's easy to see. And let's take a look inside. You loosen two screws on each side and we'll just unloosen here, loosen here, and open it up like a clamshell. And here's the inside. And we have eight AA batteries that run the radio. It's amazing how much you can do with 10 watts RF output, or try one watt for more of a challenge. I'm Bob Allison, WB1GCM, ARRL test engineer here at the ARRL laboratory.